I'm so well cool. over 70 years old. Wow. wow. With the same engines. Let me have a look. Blue, uh, white or green. Do you think the cream one? Yeah, cream will be cool. Yeah, cream one. Let's do the cream one. Let's go. Whoa. <laughs> that is yum. Nice. These got to be real funny. They're like breaking the fence. Oh. Is it looking a bit? Yeah, this one's so sweet. You can see its teeth. It's cute. <laughs> Good. These are so yum. And this literally tastes like cornflakes. <laughs> These are like. What are they? Donut balls with date syrup, pancakes, sweet noodles. This is like a crunchy wrap thing that they break up and put with milk and it literally tastes like cornflakes. But they just, um, that's what they had when. Mm -hmm. Massive desert tricks because mm, they last 45 days, mm. and that's what the dog eats. Yeah. <laughs> Hello, it's me jumping in here because I realized I didn't do like a debrief of the Platinum Heritage Safari that we did. Um, I'm obviously home and this is when I'm editing the video. I've got wet tan on, so I'm all wrong. Yep, I need to blend that. But we really enjoyed our... Um, you got in the mirror. Oh. <laughs> oh, yeah. He's trying to be all slow and quiet. Um... So we really enjoyed our morning. We did the morning one with Platinum Heritage. It isn't obviously like from the videos and the vlog footage that you see. It's not like a super hectic, like you're not on quad bikes, you're not doing the dune bashing, you're not doing any of that. You literally go into like a camp and you hear basically like a little talk eh, on how the um, Emirates used to live. And that was really interesting. You have to... Well, you don't have to. You get to try a whole lot of the traditional food, which yeah. was amazing. It was so yum. The people were incredible. I just loved the whole vibe. Like, it was cool. So, yeah, we really enjoyed it. But I thought I would just jump in here and say that it was good. And now we are heading, I'm pretty sure, on the vlog to SLS, which is our new hotel. We checked out of five and we go to SLS. And then you will see the rest. <laughs> Holy shit. Nah. Come to my crib. Why is it not? Sweet. Oh, my legs are shaking. Okay, so we're at the restaurant that's in Salius and it's called Filia. Yeah. Anyway, 
F-I-L-I-A, and it's Italian. It's got a view of the Burj Khalifa. Done. We did, eh? So did. We're so high up. Have I updated everyone since we checked in? No, I don't think you have. Probably not. But they've given us this bread, so I'll be eating this. Yeah, it's Italian, eh? This cuisine. Focaccia. Is it good? Oh. So this is the, what is it? Baratina? No, no. Focaccella. No. Focaccia, yeah. And it looks yum. It's got um, focaccia. Should I try some? Yep. Gotta get some cheese on there. Thanks, babe. Do I like angle my hair? What are your thoughts? Mm. Good? Is it That's soft? Hey. This looks good, eh? The way to see this one is one of his favourites. It's a new dish. Try? Yep. It's lemon cream mm. and broccolini. Good. Okay, hello. I've risen. I just, I don't know when I last spoke to you guys, but we checked into this hotel, which is beautiful. I'll quickly show you around in a second, but my period just came and like well it came this morning and i wasn't in pain this morning but like i knew it was gonna hit at some point um and it hit and i've just been like you know when you actually like the pain was going to my feet i took voltaren because it was the only thing i had and then we found some panadol in my like my carry-on anyway I usually bring like all of the things, but this time I just didn't. So anyway, I had Panadol, dosed up. I knew that I was going to be fine in like an hour, but it's just that like waiting for the painkillers to kick in. I'm like on the toilet. It's just diabolical. <laughs> anyway, I'm feeling better now. Vita went to the gym. We've got a dinner reservation in 10, no, in one hour at C'est La Vie, which is amazing. It's really hard to get into. Well, it is when we're here so I um, ended up actually flicking them a DM and then they asked my number and called me and managed to get us in so I'm super thankful for that we're really excited it's been recommended by a whole bunch of people to go here so yeah let me show you around the new hotel so this is SLS which is um, like downtown Dubai so it's closer to the Dubai Mall the Burj Khalifa all of the um, like restaurants and stuff this way which like if you're planning on coming which crack up so many of well, I've had so many people been like I need to go to Dubai but I've had literally two messages saying like they have booked trips they're like you are an influencer babes because you have influenced me to book a fucking trip to Dubai so it's like the funniest thing I love it though like it's been such a cool trip already so it's something I will gladly influence you guys to do um so yeah we did half of our time as you guys know at the five which is definitely very like party i almost want to say like love island vibes even though i don't even watch love island it's definitely like that energy like we didn't spend much time by the pool at all we went down to the beach and sort of like stayed to like our own vibe but it's definitely like party you like flex with your bottles and it's just that whole situation so that's the vibe at five but i loved being um along like that boardwalk and like all the restaurants and stuff along there and the views were like incredible like our room I was obsessed with it so I definitely don't regret staying there I loved it but that's definitely the vibe that it is which you can kind of get from the Instagram this is SLS so I'll show you around this is the bathroom it's honestly huge so toilets in there then this like moves and there's the shower is huge this actually the grand opening was four months ago so this is a brand new hotel um this is we've obviously opened the suitcases but this is the bedroom little desk where vita's been working that is the view of the city that way and then not much this way to be fair this is my favorite part of this room is that you have like this separate area so it just is so much bigger 
because you know like you can just have all your stuff out here and it doesn't matter and then we've got a balcony so we're on the 61st floor and it's really scary <laughs> Like when you look down, it doesn't look real. Like I get a bit nervous, like going towards the edge, but like that doesn't look real. Sorry. But yeah, this is our view. Would have taken you guys up to the lunch um, that we had, and that view's incredible. So that's like up there. Like, oh. there's also the pool up on the top level and it has the most incredible views so we'll definitely go to that before we go um and there's like a whole bunch of restaurants bars in this hotel so yeah we're loving it so far i'm gonna get ready i don't know what i'm gonna wear but it needs to be like bloke friendly because like no, when you appear and you're just like base mode me I almost just feel like I'm going like this, like I'm not even putting on makeup, but I need to pull myself together. So I'll see you soon. I'm gonna like sort my shit out, get ready, and I will be back soon. Okay, we're literally about to run out the door, but this is what I'm wearing. Pretty little thing, actually. This is from the Molly May edit. It's kind of like a bit wrong here, but it's super comfy because I've got my period, so. I need to put some jewelry on. I just quickly did my huge with my face. And this is the vibe. I just chucked on some silver jewelry and I'm taking this bag. I've just got white heels on, although they're kind of not long enough. I mean, tall enough. Yeah, that's actually water. So, yeah. Where are we? Or a sky pool. We just ordered breakfast. We've got Emma on toast. We've got these Japanese pancakes and they look good, eh? They're all fluffy. Nah, that's a pancake. And then I got an acai bowl and we just both had a coffee. It was real good. I'll show you guys around soon, but... Let me record you. Nice. So, basically, Vida, why are you leaving me? I'm telling them about our um, our bed. Our bed? That's in the. Oh yeah, yeah. We're in the shade, but you can swim all the way around. We thought we weren't even going to get a booking, but we managed to get one. It's booked out until mid March, yeah, and then I had yeah, book book before you even book your flights. Yeah. And sure, make sure you try and get. Maybe can we do a video, please? Damn it! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, guys. We just had to take a little intermission. So he's trying to clear the whole pool so he can get a video. I thought he was trying to get better in the video. He's going like, excuse me, can I like make make a video? And I was like, of what? Yeah. yeah. And then he said, they just like, you thought that it's what you wanted a minute. Yeah, I was like, oh yeah. Yeah, sure. And I was like, yeah. And then the guy was like, so much. <laughs> we were like, okay. Yeah. So basically, what I was going to say was, just try and book and be like on the edge so that you get the sun on your bed. Although it would be hot and you wouldn't have any escape. There's no umbrellas. So you would be hot on the edge. But um it would yeah. be nice though, because like when you do get hot you can just come for a swim. True. I'm just trying to make it, us feel better about our bed being in the no, shade. It's a terrible idea. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so we're just swimming around to so the pool wrapped all the way around. Yeah, it's like the world's largest I just burped. Wrap around oh, sky pool. Yeah. <laughs> Not that I know if there's like that many. But... Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> it's probably the only one. So that's the thing about Dubai, they like they want to break the record for everything. Yeah, everything. They want the they tallest do. building. Largest Ferris wheel. Largest. Biggest man made island. Biggest, biggest man made hill. Inflatable um indoor indoor theme park. Yeah. And then my Remy cut out one piece. Got some coconuts. 
it is about to it, yeah. Even the coconuts are yummy here. We've reached the edge, boys. Oh, this might be um, nicer later, babe, because the sun sets this way. So we'll come around later. Hello, it's me. I'm jumping in here because I realized I didn't vlog at night, but it's important because we went to the best restaurant ever. It's called Zuma. It is a um, Japanese, hey, Japanese, Japanese fusion situation. And it's so good. We didn't have a booking, but it was super busy. They ended up make, like making room, squeezing us in upstairs at the bar, which was a vibe. I feel like down below in the restaurant was way more chill, whereas the vibe was amazing. I'm gonna insert photos here so you guys can see. This was recommended to me by my friend Millie. Um, hey. Yeah, it's an award-winning restaurant slash bar, but it was incredible. The food was amazing. The service was incredible. The vibe was it. And I didn't want to not have this in here because you need to go if you're gonna to go to Dubai. So it's called Zuma. You'll be able to see in the photos and that's what we did. And then you'll now see me the next day. We can't talk much because the music's on, but this is brunch and cake. We went to the other one, which I don't think I showed you, but there's two and this one's really good. Hello everyone. Kia ora. I thought we'd give a little update. We are, this is our last like full, well, we kind of have a full day tomorrow. Eh? Oh, yeah. We, we don't fly out until 2.30 a.m. on like the next day. So we've got a full day tomorrow. We're still gonna do like dinner and all that and then come back to our room and shower before we leave. But today's like our full, our last like completely full day sleeping here. Um, we just had our, pre-departure COVID test so it's super easy we just asked our hotel and they organized a nurse to come to our room so she literally just came in took our passports to like get all the information and then did our test yeah it's gonna take like what 24 hours yeah 24 um, hours to get the results and then they email it and then we take it to the front desk and they'll print it off for us yeah and then i've just started fill filling out my dpd which is like a departure form you just like make a login and then it's actually quite good you like lodge all your stuff in there so i can't upload the vax thing uh, sorry the um it's called the test thing yet but you literally like put everything in so you put all your information where you've been blah 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 just like your usual thing but then you can also put like your vax certificate and then your pre-departure covid test as well so um, yeah, we just wait for the results to come back. They come back within 24 hours. You can pay extra to have them fast, but like we've got time. So yeah, it was real easy though. Actually. She just came yeah. to the room. It cost us 500 dirhams. So that's what? 200 bucks. 200 bucks, which is all good. That's like similar to what we paid in Australia to come here. So yeah, I thought I would just update you. I'm sorry I didn't film. I feel like she would have told me off because you're not meant to like film that kind of shit. 
and also I'd have to ask like for her permission to be in it. It'll just be a whole shit show. So yeah. We're gonna go get breakfast now and then we're heading to White Beach, which is at Atlantis. Atlantis, which we went to last night for Nobu and Nobu was yummy. Yeah, it was pretty yum. But we both rated Zuma better. Yeah, you have to go to Zuma. Zuma was so good. Nobu was yum, but I feel like because we don't eat meat, I don't know. Like maybe the meat is the thing that everyone loves there. Yeah. But yeah, off to Bricky. Yeah. Just close to that. All the footage is just me doing that. Uh, you pull the camera up and I go, where? <laughs> which is like a, what is it, Mediterranean? I think, it, isn't it French? Italian? Bagatelli? Bagatelli sounds Italian, but I'm pretty sure it's Mediterranean cuisine. Right. Anyway, the lady on the phone said, what'd she say? Fancy. Very fancy. No. Not that. What'd she say? Wait, you're not allowed to open shoes. No. What's that for me? My pants are so long. Oh, well. Um, no, it's called Elegant. Elegant. So my better have gone, well, you know what you're gonna get tonight? You're gonna get exactly what is left that's clean in our suitcases. So, I've got this jumpsuit that's from PLT, which I haven't worn, but it's just really long. But that's okay. And my new bag. Let's get closer. This is my birthday present. I'm wow. debuting the new Chanel. I'll tell you, like, I'll give you a story time about this bag when we're not running late, but nice. get out. like. That's the coolest bag I've ever seen in my life. Whoa! I got risotto. You got salmon. Yep. He's in back, in, back into health. <laughs> I'm not. Look at this, guys. Gucci Beauty Bar. Quite cute. We're just finding a place to have breakfast. We saw a place on Instagram that looks quite cool called. I forgot the name. Also, look at all the labels. Yeah. Massive. So, we're at the mall today. I don't even know if I've updated you. We're at the mall, Dubai Mall. I actually quite liked Mall of Emirates, to be honest, a bit better than this one. I had more stuff. Well, not more stuff, but like what I wanted to get. It's a bit easier to navigate. Yeah, easier to navigate. It's still hard, but like easier than this. Yeah, easier than this. This is hard. Um, but today we're just going to do a little bit of last minute shopping. We're going to go up the Burj Khalifa. We're going um, to go to the Louis Vuitton. Oh, Will this yeah. start or do we have to walk up it? Oh no, it starts. <laughs> it looked like it was broken, but it starts when you like walk up to it. I'll show you a bit of the mall. It's just massive. Also, everyone here um, gets up real late, eh? Yeah. I was just asking someone where to go, but um, yeah, what we were saying was everyone wakes up super late here. Like it's very much, people are going to dinner at 10 p.m. Yeah. And yeah, like- make bookings for like 12 a.m. Yeah, for dinner. Like it's very starting yeah, late. Like look how empty the mall is. But then in, an, in two hours, it'll be packed. Yeah. So yeah. yeah. Australia, this would be like packed right now. Yeah, it's the complete opposite in Australia. Yeah, for their walk and all yeah. That. look how pretty it is. So cute. These are cute. Also the Yeezys. That's good. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. Please don't. We're at this. Oh, it's so zoomed in. What's it called? Because our food might take a while. But it looks 
kind of, it kind of looks like average. Square. It kind of looks average from the outside, but you can get in here. It's pretty long. Oh my god, made up. Is it good? That is like a custard square. Guys. I'm having one. That's fucked. Yeah, this place looks average from the outside. Well, no, it actually looks really nice. It was just that it was empty. Imagine what everything else tastes like. I'm getting something else. Yeah, it was just kind of like empty from the outside. But they have an outdoor area, but it was already full. How good. This smells so yum. They just got, what have you got? Burrata with scrambled eggs. I just bought the lip oil and the blush from Dior because it's always sold out in Australia. And they gave me a little, um, little chocolates. We're in the biggest Nike store in the world. And look at this view. Oh, babe, that's where the fountain is. That's the fountain. Yeah. And yeah, that's the Burj. Oh, she's high, boys. Chaos. <laughs> That lift ride had me shitting my pants. <laughs> and the guy's going, don't worry. Sweet. Anyway, we're up here now and it's nice. Top of the Burj Khalifa, which is the tallest building in the world. This is the highest viewing platform. <laughs> Don't know what I've turned into a tour guide. But me and Pete came like, you can kind of peer over the edge. Like six years to build. Oh, I can do a photo of <laughs> Jesus. Cool. It's our last meal. Our flight leaves in like what? Five hours? Six hours? 2.30 a.m. Yeah. yeah, all wrong. So we're out for dinner at the Filia, which is the Italian restaurant at our hotel. Hello. Hello. 